everyone, and welcome back to All The Mod 7 To The Sky. Now, I, I, right off the bat, let me just say, I might sound a little different because I woke up probably uh, 10 minutes ago, okay? Um, so I apologize for the, the bit of a late upload today. I Listen, I, I got home, I had dinner, I slept like a princess, okay? <laughs> that's that's going to be my official excuse for the uh, the lack of upload, but you guys will probably get two or, or three videos today, so... Um, we can make up with it. It's a week. It's a weekend. Okay. It's a, it's a weekend. It's a weekend. Um, so the last episode, we actually did something phenomenal, like genuinely really good. This right here is our auto inscriber setup. So it is literally as simple as making sure this guy's full of redstone at all times. He's keeping this, uh, inscriber full. Oh, we've actually got an extra, um, silicon. Oh, we've got like 13 silicon. Huh. Um, but yeah, <laughs> realistically as well, we can pretty much keep this silicon guy filled up too, just like we did with the redstone. And this will keep silicon in the system. In fact, I think that's what I did. I think I chucked my extra silicon in exactly for that reason. And so then all we need to do is come over here and let's say we want a logic uh, processor. We put a bit of gold in. The gold will instantly get processed. Well, not instantly, but automatically get processed and it will end up in here. And then all of our good stuff will end up in there. And while setting this up, we processed quite a decent amount in that last episode. And so I think we've actually got a decent amount of processes. Yeah, to get started. So this is pretty good. Uh, like genuinely, this is very, very good. So what is going to happen this episode? Well, there's going to be some wiring happening. For starters, all of these fluid pipes, I kind of want to get rid of them. Um, to be honest, they don't look as bad as they did before since we got rid of the platform that was above the ground here. Um, I should probably sleep as well because I feel like it looks very... I don't know. It's, it's very dark on my screen. I think on your screen, it might be a little bit nicer, <laughs> oddly enough. <laughs> oddly enough, compared to normal YouTube videos, I think it's a lot darker for me, which is probably good. Um, the other thing though is like the power cables. These are kind of messy. Um, so someone mentioned putting the cables under the ground. And, and, and whilst I agree, like with the item pipes, having them under the ground makes it look better. The <sighs> These pipes are a little bit trickier because they need to go up here, <laughs> right? And so to run them under the ground doesn't necessarily work because they're already under the ground up there. Um, so yeah, bit of a pickle in terms of that. Um, so honestly, what we might end up doing there, I, I really like these ender gates from power. We might end up just like working towards getting these. Um, we'd have to set up an energizing orb and energizing rods. But like that's doable, you know, that, that can be done at some point. We also need to figure out what we're doing over there because I can almost guarantee that there's like a bunch of items on the ground as well. Listen, listen, there's a decent amount we have to do, okay? But for starters, let's try and set up auto processing using our Applied Energistics 2 system. That seems pretty fair. And that's sort of why we set up these uh, inscribers in the last episode. So the main things we're going to want, we had bookmarked, is going to be some export buses and some storage buses. And actually something I don't have bookmarked it's going to be a lot more Fluix cables, um, if we even have them. Not Flux cables, sorry, Fluix. Um, these ones right here. I said the right thing, but I typed the wrong thing. Um, so these guys are going to cost Fluix crystals and quartz fiber um, cables. Now, the quartz fiber cables, I'll be honest, I don't necessarily know what the difference is. I'll be honest, I don't know how they work. Um, we can try something. We can look in the book um, and we can see, hmm, do they have cables here? They have basic cabling, where they have glass cables. Okay. Glass cables. Fluix glass cable. And then the rest of these are just Fluix cables colored. Okay. Let's see what the book tells me, though. Because I'm sure the book's going to tell me what to do. Okay. Um, so I was reading through this, and it sort of reminded me of something else that's going to be uh, very, 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 very interesting. Oh, not this, sorry. Um, this. So the thing that we're going to have to keep in mind are channels, right? <laughs> this is, listen, it's going to be interesting. What we might want to do, I I'll see what it costs. We might want to make smart cables from the get-go. It's just going to cost us some covered cables and some, you know, redstone glowstone. That's pretty cheap. The covered cable is going to be our glass cables and some wool. Um, in the wool department, we should be pretty good because we've got plenty of strings. So like, I think we can make these smart cables and I think it's a worthy investment. So we're probably going to do that. And right off the bat, I might actually do it to the cables here. Oh, look at that. You can use the wrench on it. Oh, awesome. Um, so yeah, let me go ahead and, and try and get ourselves a smart cable, at, at least one, um, and we'll hook it up right here. Um, so I'm going to pick up this, place down a smart cable. And so everything's still working. But what the smart cable does this differently is we can visually see two lines coming into the cable. We can see one line going that way 
and we can see another line going that way. These are the channels, okay? These are channels. So in the top left as well, you can see it says two channels. That is how many channels this smart cable is using, right? And so the thing here is that each cable has a capacity of eight channels, each of these basic cables, right? Eight channels that it can use, which means if I move this around and on the back of every single one of these, I place an export bus, I think that uses up all those channels very quickly, which is a problem, obviously. Now, that doesn't really work. Now, the sort of the solution to that would be instead of placing export buses on all of these, we do a bit of a combination, right? So I could bring the cable over here into a tank and then pipe from the tank and we could probably like get rid of all these cables, but I don't know. <laughs> I'll, I'll be honest, now that I've remembered cables are a thing, it's, it's, it makes things a little bit trickier. Alternatively as well, if we continue along here um, in the uh, cable department, there are these guys, dense cables. Um, now if we grab, uh, oh, but, but, I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. Um, if we grab this guy, it's a combination of four covered cables, and I believe it holds four times eight, so, so what, like 32 um, channels, right? So you can then have a lot more channels. So that's an option. <laughs> that's an option as well. The question is, what do we want to do here? <laughs> um, hmm. Is this full, by the way? Yeah, it's full. Yeah, because it's going into here instead of into here. All right, all right, all right. I I'll tell you what. I know what we need to do. We need to make some dense cables. So what I'm going to do for starters is we're going to make all of these into these cables. Hmm. <laughs> what do we want to do here? Um, hmm, eh, hmm, eh. <laughs> Um, I'll tell you what, we need to make more Flux cables. That, that, that's pretty obvious. These need Flux crystals. These are going to need Flux seeds, which is going to be Flux dust and sand. It's quite easy. I'm going to go ahead and grab, I might grab 32 of these just because, well, we can. And I'm going to chuck these in here and they're going to turn into Flux crystals quite easily. So that's that sort of taken care of. In terms of dense cables, um, a part of the problem with the dense cable is I believe you can't get away with um, connecting it to uh, blocks. Although, wait, no, I just placed the smart cable back down. Um, like if we place this here, well, for starters, we can't. So there you go. There's your answer. You, you just can't do it. Um, in terms of everything else, I'm going to pick up this storage bus and I'm going to pick up this backpack. Um, I'm going to place the backpack down over here. I'm going to place the dense cable here. And that's going to connect to the network. Realistically as well, I kind of want it to be a smart cable. I, I don't really know if... Can we get away with that? A, a Fluix Dense Smart Cable. We can. Okay, and, and it's pretty much the same recipe. So we're just going to place this in here with some redstone and glowstone, it looks like. Oh, but we don't have redstone and glowstone because redstone and glowstone was in the backpack, which is over here. But I should be able to place a storage bus there. And then, uh, and then, and then we get a cable. Listen, listen, everything's fine. Everything's a okay. So we'll slap that there. What's this guy got, by the way? I, I saw him rock up. Um, I mean, that's that's a fun little axe. I don't, I don't necessarily think it benefits us that much, to be honest. Um, especially since, yeah, I don't know. And what's this guy? Yeah, same sort of thing. I, yeah, sure. They, they can stay there. Do we need any? We've already got mushrooms. Nah, the rest of it's fine. Um, okay, so, so we should be able to craft this now. <laughs> so, sorry about that. Um, so this smart cable we're going to place here. And we can see now it's using one channel which I think is going up here into this guy. Um, which, to be honest, I kind of want to move it. Uh, mm, eh. <laughs> the reason I want to move it is that I, I want to place it over there because I want this guy to have zero channels, right? Now, I could place him underneath, but I kind of want to keep an eye on it, so I want to keep him up here. Now, <sighs> listen, listen. I don't fully understand how the mod works, so when I explain it to you guys, take everything with a grain of salt, but I understand the general gist of it, right? This connection has eight channels, or, or sorry, uh, 32 channels, because it's coming right out of the uh, controller. So if we pulled it out on this side as well, we'd have a fresh new 32 uh, channels that we could work with as well. So what we can do here is we can run this all the way over there, which is sort of what I want to do. Um, and I believe from this, if I were to place like just a, a smart cable, we now only have eight channels coming out of this guy. So you know, you sort of want to have the dense cable go most of the way, and then you can branch off with a smart cable or with just a normal cable out here, connect eight of these, continue along your way. That sort of setup. So that's what we're going to be doing. Um, how's this stuff coming along? Can we make a bunch of crystals yet? I think we can. Um, so let's go ahead and do this. All right, so we're going to cover all of these. 
Um, I reckon I will make all of these into the smart ones. Um, into the smart dense ones, sorry. Purely because... Oh, you don't get much, do you? And... Um, I don't think you need to make them dense as well once you have the main ones gone. So, we're going to go ahead and start picking up some of these uh, item pipes. I obviously want to run this under the ground. So, we're going to connect that there. I'm going to turn my jetpack on. And we're going to keep an eye on it so that we don't run out of power. I should probably upgrade the jetpack too at some point. Um, so, oh god. Oh god. It's already a great start, isn't it? Um, this guy, I'm going to sort of bring off this way. I'm sort of watching my power a little bit as well. Um, you know what I should do? Before we do this, I, I should recharge it, but also I should dig holes where we're going to be, um, where we're going to be building, essentially. Uh, oh, we've actually got, a uh, something in there already. There we go. Alright, I've, I've smelted up some glass and we had some extra silicon, um, because I'm, I'm making more cables when we actually ran out of the, uh, what do you call them? The quads, the glass fiber. What do they call it? Yeah, the glass fiber cables. We have a few more. Actually, you know what? I think I made a bunch of them, so I think we were just out of the crystals. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. We're, we're good. Um, so these ones... Um, I'm probably only going to put a smart cable connecting up here. Uh, you know what? I should have it branching off from the dense cable. You, you know what? I totally know what I'm doing. Um, oh, I almost <laughs> I almost walked off the edge without my, uh, my jetpack. That would have been very humorous, but also very embarrassing. Um, all right. So let's go right back under here. Um, and I've sort of, I've dug some holes. So for example, <laughs> we're going to bring it there. That's about as far as we can go. And to be honest, that is as far as we can go because that's, um... What have I done over here? I dug a hole, didn't I? No. Um, those cables cost a lot, is, is, was essentially where I was going with that. Um, over here, what we're gonna do is I'm going to break this and I'm going to place um, these cables oh, uh, there and there. And then I'm also going to do the same here and here. And then we're gonna bring these underneath. I, I'm pretty sure I can lower the throttle, can't I? Yeah, there we go. Now, now we're a bit small. I did that with the um, comma and like full stop. So these I'm going to try to bring all the way back to that main cable. And then we're going to connect it on with just a normal smart cable. So that we can see um, the amount of connections we have um, off of just this little part here. So currently zero. <laughs> That's good. Um, we'll head back up. The other place I wanted to connect to was not actually over there. Um, there was another place though, but I'm pretty sure. Unless I'm crazy. I might be crazy. I thought I... I swear I dug a different hole. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I thought I was going to and I, and I just didn't. Well, anyway, um, these cables at the very least are pretty much hooked up. So what we're going to do is we're going to get um, an export bus. So I'm going to search export. Uh, well, I guess we've already got him up here. Um, and he's going to cost us a formation core, which pretty cheap. It's going to cost you a Certus Quartz uh, crystal, a Fluix dust, and some logic processors. So we'll grab just one of those for now. Um, the piston as well, nice and easy. And that will be our export bus. So this guy's going to put all of the... Um, resources into that guy over there. And then while we're there, we're, we are going to need actually another one. So we'll make a second piston and we'll set this guy up. And this guy is going to provide the fluid um, for the for the um, lava tank over there. So we can come over here, place this guy on top. We can also place this guy on top. Is there lava in here? There is. I think, oh yeah, I need to, I need to hook this guy up. Um, what will, hmm, hmm, yeah, okay. How are we going to do this? I reckon what I do is I break this, I pick this guy up, and I place him down here. I think that's the solution. And then what we do is we look carefully under there and we place that here. And then we can uh, we can connect under there. I'm going to get another item. This one won't be a storage bus. It's actually going to be, hopefully if this is what it's called, an import bus. Do we have one of those? We do. Beautiful. This guy's going to need an annihilation core, so that is different from the other one. Instead of using a Certus Quartz Crystal, it's just a piece of Nether Quartz, but the rest of it seems to be the same. Um, and then, oh, it is a Sticky Piston, so do keep that in mind. I don't know if we have Sticky on demand. We do. <laughs> nice. Um, so we'll put this together, get ourselves an import bus, and run back over here. Um, I'm, I'm a little bit suspicious of this episode so far, because things are going pretty well. So this guy's going to go here. Um, we can open him up from here. Oh, well, I guess that picks him up. Did it? What did I just do? Am I holding it currently? Oh, I was. That is very weird. Um, anyway, if we open this guy up, I don't know if we have to do anything here. I'll be honest. But we'll probably leave... Oh, wait a second. How much... Oh, these guys don't have much room for uh, exporting. Okay. We'll have to... Hmm. We'll have to see. What we might need to do is get our hands on a filter um, from Applied Energistics, if that exists. Which, I, I mean, I imagine it does. It's just a question of what it's called. Um, applied and then filter. Hmm. Are these filters? 
their cable facade filters, so I don't think they really count. Um, what are these things? The, I mean, I know these are cards. Um, you can get, like, crafting cards, inverter, acceleration, fuzzy. What does a fuzzy do? I don't really know. Um, overflow capacity. Arguably, we will want a capacity card. Um, so I might just bookmark that. Oh, God, I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. Um, just, so, just to sort of, like, you know, be ready to make it. <laughs> Oh, wait, wait, if we look at these, yeah, it already says device online. Oh, beautiful. So is this currently working? No, this currently is... Oh, no, no, I, I just need to hook that guy up, don't I? Hold on. We've, we've got this. We've got... Oh, we didn't charge this guy up at all. All right, well, we're about to go on a uh, on a short for time mission. <laughs> we've got 33,000 in the tank. Oh, and our throttle's lower, so I'm not doing this as fast as I would like to. Oh, my God. Do I even know where I need to go? Oh, it's right here. Okay. Everything's fine. I want to connect this up. And then there is something else I want to do before we run out of power. And let's come over here. And we should see three channels used. Yep, three channels used. Beautiful. We have 10 power left. Come on. Let's up the throttle a bit. There we go. How nice is that? Beautiful. A job well done. Mission accomplished. Nobody died. You'll have to see it. Um, we'll put some fuel in there too before I forget. Okay, so this stuff's hooked up. Um, it sounds like things are working. Yeah, look. This guy's emptying. And he's... Hey, he empties pretty fast. So that's pretty good. He can keep up with the machine running full pace and then some, which is what we want to see. So what I mean by that is he's able to get all the stuff that's casting very quickly, but then also the bit of the backlog we have. So all of this stuff will go in our system. Sounds good to me. Um, we probably will want an extra chest here to hold things like these small plates and stuff. I believe as well, you can make a casting uh, chest. Yeah, this guy right here. So we'll need an extra seared brick. <laughs> I, I don't really know if we have... Um, any grout, how do you spell it? Any grout on demand, but um, we can craft some, that's fine. And we can run over here and chuck it uh, in this guy when he's ready. And that should be good. And we've got plenty of uh, glass, plenty of stone. We'll chuck all this in the system and that should be good. Um, because remember, you can store a lot of the same item. The issue is uh, storing multiple little items in, in, in this system as it currently stands. Um, so yeah, cool, <laughs> awesome. Um, now, this guy's not hooked up. When we hook this guy up, we do have a bit of a problem. The bit of the problem is he's going to store a lot of stuff. That's why previously we had it going into here because we could sort of manage it a little bit. The issue was we were also getting a bunch of junk in here. Like if we sort this, you can see there's a lot of like pieces and we can store like thousands of them. So it's, it's pretty good. But the problem is it's also not pretty good because I don't know. It's, it's a bit overwhelming to look at to be completely honest. What I might do, let's open this guy up. Can we change the... I want to change the priority. Um, lower priority first, higher priority first. What? Oh, for insertion and extraction. Okay, so for insertion, higher priority first. So I'm going to do this one as negative 10. So this is a lower priority for in inserting. Which means if I... For, for example... Hmm. For example, yeah. If I take this stuff out... Oh, it goes into there. Why is it doing that? Um, shift click into player's inventory. That's what we want to do. So now the stuff's in there and then the stuff goes in my inventory. No. Shift click into player's inventory. Shift click into backpack. Guess that doesn't really matter. Let's move that back and let's lower that. There we go. <laughs> okay, that did the trick. Um, so I'm going to take this stuff out. And now when I put it back into the system, it shouldn't go there again. Instead, it should go into, you know, the actual storage. Um, and it should be filling it up pretty decently. So um, we're going to be using up a lot of that space. But the reason I want to do this is I want this guy to just be holding stuff we're sieving. Because that, that seems like a pretty good place. So... We'll grab pretty much all this stuff. I think up to like those basalt pieces and, and maybe even then. You know what? I guess with the pieces, if we're sifting things like, um, what do you call it? <laughs> What's the word I'm looking for? Like dirt? We could probably keep that stuff there. Um, the things like spider eyes though, no, they, they can go in the system uh, for sure. Um, same uh, gunpowder, I think we're sieving. I think the rest of this stuff we're sieving. I, I might've missed something, but for the most part, that's pretty good. So I'm going to put the rest of this stuff in here. Um, the next thing I'm interested in is upgrading the stack upgrade in here. Now, um, I'll bookmark this guy if it'll let me. Yep. Oh, actually, we've got them down here uh, still. So if we want to take this to the diamond tier, it's going to then uh, increase the stack capacity by eight instead of by four. It, we will need a lot of blocks of diamond. In the diamond department, though, wow. you know what? We're not doing that good. You know what I mean? Like, we, we can do a test run. Like, if I turn all of these, yeah, you know what? We can make at least one. And, and I'll be honest, I kind of want to make one. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to try to make all of these. So we're going to make an upgrade base. Then we're going to take that into uh, blocks of iron. So we're going to want eight of these. Hopefully, once again, we have enough of that stuff. Um, so there we go. 
this will increase the um, number of stacks that a slot can fit in by two. Um, do, do, do. Then we want blo uh, blocks of gold. <laughs> make eight of these. Um, make, oh, but, but, da, da. make this guy. And then obviously we take that to the diamond tier. Beautiful. Um, we could make another one. I'm not going to because I do want some diamond left in my system. <laughs> um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to place one of these in here. And then I'm going to middle mouse and everything should go into one. How nice is that? This is very compact. Now we, oh, oddly enough, we did get some sand and stuff. Is that because this is full? Oh, it kind of is. Yeah, it's because that's full. So I'll tell you what we'll do. Oh, th this might be interesting. I think we can pretty much, oh, we need more Certus Quartz. If we didn't need Certus Quartz, I was going to say, I think we can just make this um, thing like on the spot. Like, like, cause we, we've already got all the, uh, the processor, what, what do you call them? Yeah, the logic processors. Oh, th this is going to be so good. Like once we have these in the system, Man, we're, we're, uh, we're going to be just crafting storage. In fact, we might push this time for a bigger storage cell just to sort of uh, clean up a little bit. Um, because, yeah, we can do quite a few different things. Um, in fact, hold on. Let me consult the book. For starters, we should be redeeming this stuff. For example, we get some awesome heads. Um, so here we go. Um, you can sit up here. There you go. You, you keep an eye on our system, uh, player... 82,000. <laughs> so, sorry that I do not recognize that at all. I, I, I apologize greatly. Um, anyway, anyway, moving on before I get uh, completely canceled and, and expelled from the entire community. Um, we get a random reward. So we actually got some Certus Quartz Crystals. So there we go. We don't need to wait for these, I guess. Although, you know, they're pretty much done anyway. Um, so we'll put those in the system. I do want to keep looking through here, though. Particularly for... What am I after? Um... I don't know what I'm after. That's the problem. What do we have? Storage. IO port. The ME IO port allows for the contents of an ME network storage to be quickly rearranged between different storage media, such as cells and external containers connected to storage buses. When a cell is inserted in an input slot on the left, the IO port can be toggled to either empty the cell out into another storage system. Um, yeah, th this is what I wanted. So we want an MEIO port. <laughs> okay, so let's see what we need to make this guy. Um, well, all we need are two ME drives, which as you can see, we can pretty much make, although it looks like we're gonna need some of these. So I'm gonna get four of them, why not? And I'm gonna chuck these in here and it should just magically craft exactly what we want. Now, the problem is this isn't hooked up either. So we are actually gonna wanna bring some, uh, some cables over here later to hook this up. In fact, um, let's just move that there, pick this up, pick you up. Place you there, hook you up. So he, he should be getting the stuff now. Awesome. Um, let's break under here. I do want to like run a cable under there. Um, we'll put a temporary cable there at, at the moment. Um, while we're here, let's also get another import bus. Import bus. Here we go. Uh, need another sticky piston. Listen, we can we can arrange that. We 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 have our sources. We have our sticky sources. Um, sticky sauce. That's like a that's like a barbecue sticky sauce from Mac. I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, anyway, we can place that guy there and this should put the stuff in our system, assuming it was cabled up, um, which we can do. But once again, for whatever reason, I do want to connect a smart cable on here just to like, I don't know, just to complete the system so that I, I know for sure what we've got connected. Um, I'm hoping seven cables is enough from here to there. It definitely isn't, isn't it? No, we should probably <laughs> we should probably take care of that before we go and uh, do whatever we're about to do here. Um, so we're gonna need more flux crystals. Once again, let's just craft a stack of them or as many as will let me. Um, that's good for now. There you go. <laughs> Merry Christmas system. Um, so I guess in the meantime, while that's smelting up or enriching, let's make another drive. Oh, we need uh, we need this stuff manually out of here. That's fine. We can do that. We can arrange for such a such a situation. Um, so two ME drives. Those will create an ME port as so, ME IO port. Um, and this guy, realistically, I need him where that head is. Um, <laughs> yeah, we might actually do that. I'm gonna, here, I'll pick up the head. Yep, we'll place the um, ME IO port there. And where can you go? Where do you wanna go? Um, uh, you can go there, there you go. Oh yeah, yeah, you watch out that way. <laughs> okay, so what do we do with this port? Well, we can have drives go to drives. Um, I want this one right here. I want to place a cell in here and have, uh, actually, I kind of want it the other way, actually. Yeah. Check this out. <laughs> Check out what we're about to, uh, summon. Um, so what I want to do is I want to make three of these if we can, and we can. Then I want to push them into making 
Where is it? This guy right here, a 4K ME storage component. So we'll need three of these 1Ks. We'll need a quartz class and a calculation processor. Now, the cool thing about this is that it's going to combine um, three 1Ks. So 3,000, you know, essentially three 1Ks into a 4K. I believe that's how this works. I could be wrong. Um, oh, actually, hold on. No, we might want to take this a step in a different direction, possibly. Because I want more storage, but if we look in our system, uh, although it is full in a lot of situations, it's mainly full, like overkilled full in the type situation. And we can sort of solve that. It's not a pretty solution, but it's a solution nonetheless. We can make these disk drives. Now, the interesting thing about a disk drive is it is going to store 1,000 items. Now, that could be 1,000 cobble. Or that could be 1,000 different types of like books and bows and, and armor. And although that's not the best for every system of storage, it is good just in general, you know what I mean, to have these uh, little items go into. So I kind of want to get that. Now, for the 4K, we can push that into a disk drive. So I am going to make this regardless. Um, in terms of turning it into one of these um, one of these disk drives, right? Different, different from a storage cell, a disk drive, right? Storage for dummies. The main ingredient we need here is netherite, which I think we can actually get, and an amethyst shard, which I don't know how to get. <laughs> the amethyst shard might be the little bit of a tricky situation here. Oh, we get it from sieving in a netherite mesh basalt. Whew, okay. Very interesting. Let's bookmark that stuff. We could probably do that. I'm sure we could arrange for, for that. <laughs> Apparently today's word of the day is arrange. Today we're arranging things. Um, let's have a look. Amethyst... Small amethyst, medium, large, block of amethyst. I just want to like bookmark all of this to see if there's a different way to get our hands on it. Um, oh, and then there's... Huh. Quartz ore, hey? So if we get nether quartz ore or other quartz ore, we can get some amethyst out of it. That's good to know. And that's with just lava? Yeah, just lava. Okay. So we've got some options. That's, that's what I'm learning today. Um, block of amethyst. That'll, that'll obviously need some amethyst shards. We don't really have those on demand. Um, but that's an option. Amethyst clusters. Not getting any recipes for that. Nether quartz or We could pull a laser out for this. Or. Oh. Oh. Look at this. Hold on. We just we just found a loophole. Now, now, hold on. Hold on. So this. The nether quartz or There's probably a much easier way to do this. Like with the netherite sieve and stuff. But, but we're going to try this out. Huh, why is it saying this? What was this? What? I'm very... I've, I've clearly confused myself. What's going on here? What is this liquid? Amethyst shard from molten amethyst. And molten amethyst we can get from smelting... Oh, it's not there anymore. Am I crazy? Oh, in a foundry. Oh, okay. Let me bookmark the foundry. We don't have a foundry, but apparently foundry is going to be how we do this. Yeah, okay. Foundry. <laughs> How do we get our hands on a foundry? So this stuff's going to be scorched bricks and obsidian. Scorched bricks, what are these going to be? Scorched bricks are going to be scorched bricks, which are going to be nether grout, which is going to be soul sand, gravel, and magma cream. Wow. I didn't know that was a thing. Okay. And it actually does different things. We can make some of this. We can make magma creams, right? That'll, that'll get us some of this. Do we try and do this this episode? I, you know what? We don't. We don't. But we probably will in a in an upcoming episode because that does seem very interesting and I kind of want to do that. In the meantime, how much netherite do we have the ability to make? Because we might just be able to make like a sieve, you know what I mean? Um, oh, this guy's full. Oh no, that means potential uh, netherite has been lost to the system. Although to be honest, we have a lot of scrap. Like that's genuinely a decent amount. Um, so what I'm going to do is all of this ore is going to go in here because as you can see, it looks like it's just disappearing because it's all just getting stored beautifully away. Um, and we're actually going to put all of this stuff away as well. Sort that up. Beautiful. Um, the netherite scrap, we're just going to turn that right into netherite. So we're going to come in here and see how much we can make. Do you know how much that is? That's an interesting amount for a number of... Oh, actually, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. How do you make a netherite mesh? Is a netherite mesh a diamond mesh? In <gasps> oh, I thought we were going to need eight netherite. Oh, we can do it this episode. Oh, listen, listen. Listen, <laughs> we're in for a treat. Okay, so over here, what we're currently doing is we're making um, end stone and we're making netherite, uh, netherrack. But over here, we have this guy and he's making blackstone, but 
He doesn't have to be, okay? He can actually make us basalt if we do a little bit of magic here and put a piece of soul soil below him. So we're going to go ahead and try and do that. And then what we... Oh, there's so much we can do here. Um, so we're going to need soul soil. Listen, listen. Hold on to your boots for the rest of this episode. You're in for a treat. <laughs> um, soul soil we can get from transmutating soul sand or by putting coarse dirt in witch water. And we happen to know where witch water is kept. Um, now you need to make sure that you know which water is the witch water. <laughs> Everyone has to do it. It's, it's part, of, part of the game. Um, but over here, boom, soul soil. We'll put some extra stuff in there just for some good luck. Um, we'll put this way. Okay, so, so far, so good. Next up is the soul soil. Has to go below this block here. So we'll see if we can figure out a way to get around there. Here we go. Um, soul soil, you can go there. This guy will now make uh, basalt. He clearly voided the rest of the ingredients, but that's fine. We didn't need the blackstone anyway. Um, so we'll place that there. So now we have basalt. Whoa. <laughs> okay, so the next, the next job is to open this guy up, take out the diamond mesh, open this guy up, Upgrade the diamond mesh into emerald. Then we need a smithing table. Do we have one lying around? I don't think we do. I don't really see one lying around. Um, nope. Doesn't look like it. So we're going to upgrade this guy in a smithing table, which is going to be iron and uh, planks. We'll place this guy over here. This is sort of like a little building zone. Give him a bit of netherite. Bada bing, bada boom. We now have uh, netherite. Where? Yeah, there we go. We now have a netherite mesh. This guy, I am going to place him in here. He'll be able to keep doing his thing and we'll get even more ingredients from here, which is going to be awesome. We're going to get lots of goodies in this thing. Um, yeah, our system's still full. We're, we're working on it. Listen, we're working on it. So the next thing we do is we literally, we just sieve uh, crushed basalt. So we've got a stack coming up here. So I'll, I'll wait until we get the stack and then we'll, uh, and then we'll, we'll get to work. Awesome. I'm, <laughs> I'm very happy with how well this is working. We just need to get lucky now. We only need um, a little bit of this. Um, amethyst. Uh, so what I need now is a hammer, which I might actually have in my storage. We have a stone hammer. I'm surprised we don't have like diamond or anything. Um, the other thing I was going to see was, uh, can I crush all this? Uh, or sorry, um, compress it. And it looks like we can. This will make my job just a little bit easier. If I can do all this. Oh, mining level iron. Okay. You know what? That's good because I did want to make a new hammer just out of like principle. Um, we'll make a diamond hammer. Why not? Here we go. Crush all this. Bada bing, bada boom. That didn't crush it. Awesome. Good to know. Okay. <laughs> We're going to be manually placing down the basalt. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. Just real quick. It was crushed basalt, right? Like, I'm not I'm not completely crazy here. Hold on. Hold on. Amethyst shard in a sieve. No, it's just basalt. It's just basalt. But I think the netherite sieve is just so strong that it can uh, that it can do it. Cool. Sure. Yeah, we, yeah. Yeah, awesome. There we go. So it's possible you got some already? No, no, we didn't. Um, but I'll tell you what, we'll keep an eye out for it. <laughs> we'll keep an eye out for this amethyst shard. Um, because we should get a decent amount. Well, I realized as well, I should increase... Wait, wait. Lower priority first for extraction. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, no, I know. We're, we're good, we're good. I, I was a bit confused because this one has 58 out of 60. Oh, but it's full in the other aspect. Yeah, that makes sense, I guess. All right, we actually went through all that basalt and we didn't get any amethyst. So, um, or at least I don't think we did. I, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure how this works. I'm going to have to look at it again because I don't know. It's just confusing me for whatever reason. Um, amethyst shard in a sieve, netherite mesh, basalt, Minecraft basalt, and it's 20% chance. I feel like we should have gotten one from a stack. Like that's, that's very unlucky to not get any. Oh, you know what? It's because this thing's full. That is my bad. Um, I forgot that it's no longer hooked up. We, we like moved the pipes. Yeah, that is, that is my bad. That is uh, completely my bad. Um, let me actually get some more pipes and reconnect this. That is very much my mistake. Okay, yeah, hold on. Um, let's maybe... Jetpack's probably pretty important to uh, have on you <laughs> before we go under. And we might upgrade the jetpack this episode because we've been using it a lot more and it's a little bit embarrassing um, how little we're uh, benefiting from it. Where is... I didn't dig a hole for it. All right, so it is just like a few blocks over, um, which means, oh, we can actually, hold on. Oh, hold on, hold on. We can actually just bring it right over. This will make things look a little bit nicer. <laughs> there we go. And then this can break, and I think we can get away with just digging up this. Beautiful. All right, so now stuff's going in here. We've got some Flux dust, some runes, some Flux dust. Everything's going beautifully. I just need to get a little bit more because we still don't have an Amethyst. Oh, eight amethyst. You saw it pop up. Beautiful. 
Awesome. Um, so, yeah, awesome. That, that's already in our system. So, what we want to craft now was the disc here. So, this guy is going to store, if my understanding is correct, 4,000 um, just types of items if I chuck this in here, like so, which sounds pretty cool. Now, hmm, what is the important thing here? Um, I'm not entirely sure. I'm not entirely sure. Um, because the thing is, we don't want things like cobble going in here. You know what I mean? Because we want cobble to be in going in our bulk storage, right? All this other stuff. So instead, what we want realistically is all the little stuff. So like um, everything that's pretty much at the bottom of this uh, list here, we want to go in there. Now, the thing is, I don't know how to do that. I, I, I simply don't know how to do that. If we consult the book, I've heard that there's, um, yeah, see, um, partitioned cells, they mention. I don't know how to do that. It might be here though, yeah. The cell workbench allows for cells to be partitioned to hold specific items, i.e. given a whitelist filter. It also allows the cell to be upgraded with certain upgrade cards, such as the inverter card, which sets the uh, whitelist to blacklist instead. Cells can also be given a higher priority or lower priority in the workbench. Um, that's pretty cool. Yeah, okay. So let's get our hands on a, on a cell workbench. It doesn't look too expensive, so we'll, we'll see if we have all the stuff for it. Yep, here we go. Beautiful, we'll grab that. Um, it looks as though as well, we might need um, our Certus Quartz to, uh, what do you call it? Well, for starters, we probably want this back in there, but our Certus Quartz to turn into some calculation doohickeys. So we'll put those in there. Um, okay, so cell workbench. Awesome. I'm going to slap this guy down here. Uh, here. Yeah, sure. He can go on this side. Awesome. Did he connect? Oh, he actually didn't. So I I think this guy's a completely, he's, he's just by himself. So if we wanted to, we can bring him over here. Sure. Um, so in here, we want to place some cells. I'm going to see if we can partition an ME disc. I don't, like, I don't think we can, but okay. We, yeah, I think we can. Like I could say, Hey, feathers only, and it will only store feathers. Interesting. Very interesting. <sighs> okay. Clear config copy mode controls. If the contents of the configuration pane are cleared when you remove the cell. All right. So, so I've got a bit of an idea. What we should look at at the moment is what we have a lot of, and we should put those... Oh, actually, we've got the storage cell connected, so I should disconnect the storage cell. Or the storage bus, sorry. And then look in our system. This is what we have a lot of. We want this to mainly go into the cells, right? So what I should do is I'm going to clear most of my inventory. Um, at, what I was trying to do was clear it enough so that it was uh, like easy to manage. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab like one of these. Is there a way to make it shift click into my inventory? Is this not a thing? Like, do I need to hold control when I do it? No. Okay. Now, to be honest with you, there's honestly not a much, no, not a much. There's not a much. <laughs> there's not much that we want in bulk storage. Just looking at this, like if we filter all these things, we're pretty much good. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to run over to this workbench. I'm going to set it on copy mode. And I'm going to fill this guy up with one of each of these, right? And so then what we're going to do is we're going to tell those original cells, hey, or, or at least one of those cells that you're only allowed to store this. And then we're going to see what we can do with that information. So we're going to grab this guy out. Sure. Ah, you know what? I might make a completely brand new cell. So let me put all this stuff away that we should be good to uh, now, hopefully. Um, I'll make a completely brand new, just 1K storage cell if, if we can afford it. We're gonna have to grab this stuff out, but luckily we had sort of planned for that. Um, so we'll grab this 1K. We'll turn this guy into, you know, the 1K cell. Just just the normal one. We don't want uh, anything else at the moment. We don't want fluid or anything. Uh, we actually don't have any Certus Quartz dust because I think it's in here. Yeah, Certus Quartz dust. Here we go. <laughs> Everything's fine. Bear with me. Um, we'll go here. Quartz glass. All right, so then we have a storage cell. By the way, what did I just see there? What, what's on the last page? Oh, that, that's upgrading it to there. Okay, yeah. Disk drive, disk housing. Okay, yeah, we're, we're, we're good. Um, so what I'm going to do is this uh, cell, I'm going to partition. So there we go. It's including these partitions. <laughs> so what I should be able to do now is have everything from the cells. No, no, everything from the drives. So everything within here, I want to go um, into my cell. So I place the cell and it's going to fill up. And as you can see, it just filled up with 1024 bytes, only using 12 types. So, oh, and it cleared out a bunch of stuff from here. So everything's like, this guy's 
He's filled to the brim, almost like with perfection. So that's pretty good. What I want to do now is try to empty one of these. Um, so I reckon I try to empty this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this guy go from the cell into the storage. So I'll keep my partition drive over here and I'm going to place this guy here and he'll try to empty. He didn't quite get there, but he tried. What I might do as well real quick is chuck this guy back in here and I'd like to give him, hmm. I, I just clicked this by the way, which I think it uh, messed up my filter a little bit. For example, I don't see glass in here. That's fine. That's fine. Um, what I was going to see is they said you could change the priority. Do I need to get a... Do I need to put a card in for that? How do I change the priority here? Because I thought it was going to be this wrench, but it's not. Um, clear config slash settings. Copy mode controls if the contents... Am I crazy? What did it say in the book for the... Uh... Cells can also be given a higher or lower priority. Um... Uh, I don't really see where that is. I don't really see this priority option. Um, I, like, I could be crazy. That, that's usually what, what the issue is. Th there must be a card then. One of these cards must allow you to do, like, priorities, right? Like, let me have a look if there's one supported by a, um, a storage cell. So, the overflow destruction card is... I think that means... Th th this one's actually pretty cool. This, I think, is essentially like a void upgrade. Where if we were to try to put more of the stuff that it has in here, in here, it'll just void it. Which would be pretty good if we partition this cell to like only hold cobble. Because then all the extra cobble would just go in the bin. Which honestly is very nice. Um, storage cells here in the fuzzy card. I don't know if the fuzzy card lets you do um, what we mentioned. Inverter that inverts the whitelist. Crafting card, energy, equal distribution. And the placard. Equal distribution might do it. I don't know though. I, I don't know how to change the priority. So we're just going to have to leave it as it is currently. Um... Hmm. None of these guys emptied as well, which is a little bit annoying. Um, what we might do then is I might do that for all of these is try to like, <laughs> try to get them all to go into one of these. If that somehow makes sense. Ah, oh, it's, it's very messy. Um, so if I put all those there, then chuck this guy in here, he fills up completely to the brim. Then if we grab this guy and place this guy here, he fills up not completely to the brim. Okay. <laughs> what does this mean? <laughs> Oh, you know what I should try to do? I've got a pretty good idea here. So this one's almost empty. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get him to fill up this guy. So now this guy has 223 bytes used. And so this guy should be empty. Perfect. Now what we can do is we can partition this guy as well. So I'm going to chuck him in here. I'm going to give him the exact same partitions. And we're going to see exactly how much of this stuff we have. Like if I chuck this in here, um, sorry, into... Hmm. Uh, I do want to fill it up this way, but I, I guess we got to put this stuff in first. I'm going to put all these in. So not our partition drive. Chuck this in. And it's not filled up at all. So it's not worth doing. Uh, I think at this point, there's no point in partitioning it. Because what we have within our system currently, right? With only this stuff is... Um, where are we? Is all this. So we've actually, we've got a lot of arrows. We've got a lot of bones. So I guess, yeah, let's store this stuff. We've got a lot of tin. Where's this stuff coming from? I swear this I swear this stuff wasn't in our system before. Stone as well, did we not? You know what, I think this stuff was on the whitelist, but once again, I think I pressed that button earlier that uh, sort of broke a bunch of it. All right, so let me add uh, all these to the whitelist again. Um, and I need to make sure not to press that button in the top left. That one is what messed us up. So we'll partition this drive. Why did you do that? It's because I feel like this happened. Let's, um, hmm, okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, and I do think I want to click that, yeah, okay, we're good, we're good, it's partition, everything's fine, remain calm, <laughs> um, so we're going to try this now, we're going to have it fill up this cell, ooh, see, it's still not the full way, so if I take this guy out, right, and we, like, look at these guys, these guys, they still have so much, like, data used up, but when we look in here, there's, there's not a lot of stuff. By the way, I, I do, I, I am aware that there's a lot of, um, what's the word we're looking for here? There's a lot of like this stuff. What I actually wanted to do was I want to take this stuff out. The problem is when I click it, it like goes further down the list. And so I've got to like hunt it down. And I'll be honest, that's incredibly, it's an incredibly dumb feature of uh, applied logistics compared to literally all the other, um, I say, yeah, honestly, I think compared to all the other mods, I, I don't know if the other storage mods do this. I know that refined storage doesn't. That's what I'm sort of basing a lot of my uh, judgments on here. 
Um, nether quartz will take out. I want to put all this stuff into the uh, our little, you know, bar uh, thing. <laughs> uh, there, do we want to do seeds as well? Maybe. All right, there we go. All of that stored in here quite beautifully. Um, so these are a little bit nicer now. It's still very, I don't know. It's just weird. It's a little bit weird. I think we're good. To be completely honest, I recommend we can obviously chuck this guy in. He's he's packed to the brim. He's good to go. Um, this guy here, arguably, what we could do now, now that he's like mainly filled up, is we could like empty him, you know, or, or get rid of the partition. But I, re I reckon we leave him as he is, because like right now we've got a decent amount of storage. Um, there's all these guys, obviously, and then we've got this like backup storage of four thousand different like types of items and stuff. So that should be good. Um, I don't know how to set the priority for just him, so we'll have to leave it as it is at the moment. But that seems pretty good. This guy's hooked up. This guy's good to go. The only thing here is we could probably do with uh, upgrading, what do you call it? The speed of this guy, which we might actually try and do this episode. This stuff we can obviously take out. I don't know why we've got stuff in there. That stuff shouldn't be there. The rest of this I think can be there. That should be good. This stuff can go in here. Beautiful so far. Um, over here, we wanted to hook up this piping, didn't we? Um, can we afford to do that? I hope so. Let's give it a shot. Um, so I'll open this up. Let's search our Fluix. Oh, also, sorry. We do need to put our... Uh, Storage bus back on. <laughs> that, uh, that's an important step here. Storage bus. Grab that guy. Uh, slap him down there. Beautiful. So now we should have a lot more stuff in our system. This guy, yeah, he's full. <laughs> he's meant to be full. Um, what are we doing? Anyone remember? Yeah, fluids. I know what we're doing. Um, we're grabbing some of these. We're grabbing a smart cable. We're actually making more of these. So we'll make as many as we'll let us. A stack in a bit. Sounds good to me. Um, we do have our jetpack on. So we'll hop down here and try and hook this stuff up. So... Um, over here is what we're connecting to, so it is pretty far away, decently far. Um, we're gonna bring this as close back as we can. I could use, um, a building gadget for this. Probably would make things a little bit safer, because I'd be able to do it with, like, one click instead of staying down here for as long as we currently are. Um, <laughs> here we go, we're, oh god, we're almost there. You there, you there, um, and then a smart cable here, just so that we don't mess up. You there. Currently, zero channels connected, but we come back up here. Oh, what does this say? Reach eight channels using a using devices on a network. Oh, so if we look here, this guy's only connected to four channels. Allegedly. Huh. Okay. Sure. Sure. Anyway. Yeah, that's a little bit weird. Maybe we have eight channels total on our network. I, I think that's what it is. I think we've got eight different connections all together. Um, so, is this guy good? I think he is. I think... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to grab our silicon out, and then I'm going to we'll give this guy a test run. So we'll grab um we'll grab diamonds out. We'll grab a uh, I don't know four of these. Um, and if we look at our engineering processes, we currently have two. So what we should be able to see is if I chuck all this stuff in there and we chuck our diamonds in there, we should hopefully get them just completely in our system. Oh, we actually need some more printed. Oh, look at this. This will be our first test. This guy's about to finish. You ready? We might not even see it show up. Oh, there it is. And there it goes. Beautiful. Awesome. <laughs> Works perfectly. Very happy to see that. This guy's filling up a bit. <laughs> this guy... Yeah, he's filling up a bit. Interesting. Um, hmm. Hmm, indeed. What are we doing here? <laughs> Input, output mode, bi-directional. Um, sure. Filter on insert and extract. Report inaccessible items. Partition storage. Configures partition based on currently stored items. I kind of wanted to do that. I wanted to only have the items that are in it currently. And I don't want that to include uh, lead. Um, so what I want to do here... Yeah, I think I'm happy with what it is currently. So I'm going to click on this. And I'm going to click um, this. And that'll add a filter. What I should do is add some capacity cards. So bear with me. Um, capacity cards will need basic cards, which will need redstone, which we have in this system. Um, so let me just grab some of that, apparently. Um, so we'll do basic card. We'll then get capacity cards. I'll get one for now to see how big of an update it does. So I'll place this guy in. And we now get we get an extra line. So partition it. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll make another one. <laughs> I, I, I do want all this stuff filtered. So we'll uh, we'll do this again. Yep, looks like we're going to need another one. <laughs> That's fine. Like, they're not they're not too expensive nowadays. So yeah, we'll, we'll be prepared. Um, I don't want to overkill this, you know. For obvious reasons. We'll do that. Yep, okay. Looks like... <laughs> yep, one more. Yep. <laughs> um, yeah, there we go. So this is all the items we currently have in there. Now on a filter. Okay. And then what I actually want to do here 
is I want to upgrade this priority to be a lot higher than it currently is. I, I think that's what I want to do anyway. Um, so we'll open this guy up and I want him to now be a higher priority. Because obviously we've, we've got a filter here. Filter on insert and extract. Yep, we only want these things taken out, these things put in. Perfect. Um, input and output is on. I think we're good. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, I think, yeah, awesome. Um, cool, cool. So if we wanted to, um, I don't really know if we could export into this, but regardless, I, I think we're good. I, th I think everything's fine. Yeah, sure, <laughs> totally. Um, I could try placing this here and having it like, um, oh, he's full. Did that empty any of these? It literally didn't, that is insane. But if we flip this around, he then empties quite a lot. So we'll, we'll do that occasionally. Yeah, we'll keep doing that occasionally. That should be, that should be good. <laughs> sure. All these guys are now pretty much full. Very nice. <laughs> okay, cool. Awesome. I'm happy. I think. Um, what's next? I, to be honest, I think that's this episode done. I, I think we did all the things we sort of wanted to do. We've, we've hooked it. Oh, actually, you know what? This guy does need a little bit more because currently, currently he's got no lava in him. Or, well, he has lava, but he doesn't have lava automated and he doesn't have items in him. And I want to automate both. So, how are we doing this? Well, this guy, he's going to need fluid, which is going to be done via a lava tank, which is currently over here, which as far away as this is, it's awfully close to where it needs to be. So what we can do is we can break this. We're going to have to break that one as well. And we can run some cables under here. Um, what I will need to do though, is place a storage bus on top. Um, we could do a storage bus for fluids, or we can start storing some fluids in our system. I reckon we'll do a storage bus though. I think a storage bus is a little bit smarter in this situation. So that's what we're going to do. Um, it's a little bit expensive though. We'll need two pistons. One of the pistons will have to be uh, sticky. There we go. And then we will need an ME interface, which will need a formation core. Nice and easy to craft. And then an annihilation core, I believe. So we'll go here. Annihilation core. Beautiful. Not too bad of a recipe when, once you get the uh, system down. There we go. And... Storage bus, wonderful. Um, yeah, cool. So this guy's gonna come over here. Um, we're gonna place him on top. So he's now connected. Um, oh, I didn't want to pick him up actually. Can I place him back down? Uh, yep, there we go. Um, so this guy, we don't have to set him to fluid mode or anything. I think he's just good to go as he is. Um, so what we're gonna want to do is, uh, you know what? Let's let's do it. Let's upgrade our backpack, <laughs> our jetpack here. Um, to take it to the next level, what do we need? We need the invar. I don't know how much invar we have, but we're going to make a bunch of this stuff. I believe from memory, we want 11 of these to make this thing. Then I believe you want to make five batteries. One, two, three, four, five. Then what you want to do is you want to make one battery pack. You then want to make two thrusters. One, two. And then you have yourself an upgraded jetpack. So this guy, he will use more fuel. He'll use 100 RF per tick, but instead of storing 100,000, he'll store, he'll store 400,000. So... You'll be a little bit better. If we want to push to the next level, we need Electrum, which to be honest, in the Electrum department, um, we have we have a decent amount. I reckon we can get away with it. So I'm going to, I'm going to try. Um, so we're going to need 11 of these. This time it's these gold cables or, or these, uh, what do they call them? Advanced coils. Yep. Um, and then once again, same thing, five of these batteries. So we'll get five of those if it'll let us. Yep. Beautiful. Make yourself uh, your capacitor. Then make yourself your uh, two thrusters and you have yourself an upgraded jetpack. Now this guy... Once again, he'll now use 160 RF per tick, but have a look at that. He'll store 2 million RF, which is pretty good. If we wanted to, we would need some Signalum or some Sinalum. I don't know how you want to pronounce it. Regardless, we don't really have that. So now we want to fill this guy up. Um, <laughs> we, we honestly need a better battery storage like to charge things up. We just don't really have any at the moment, um, but we quite clearly need it because uh, this guy's going to be burning through fuel if I don't have him completely full, and we can't really do that. <sighs> Um, cause like none of these guys have spots to s charge things. So we're, you know, we're in a bit of a sticky situation there. Um, I'll tell you what, I'll put him on as he is <laughs> and we'll see, uh, we'll see what we get away with. Maybe if we lower the throttle a bit, we'll get away with it. Um, and so what I'm going to want to do here is obviously just hook this cable up. How are we in terms of power? Look at that number go down. That's a little bit scary, but I think we're good. And I do want to be a little bit meticulous with how we place this, but there we go. That's hooked up. Yeah. You know what? The storage is, it's lasting a lot longer. It, it's very full. We're going to, uh, we're going to make sure this guy's charging because once he's full, we should be good for a while. So we now have, I believe, lava accessible in our system. Um, if I open this terminal up and we search for lava, oh, we actually see it in the system. Awesome. Uh, uh, you know what? 
I like that over applied in energistics. I love that the fluid and the lava is like, it's all within the one system. You don't need like a fluid grid just to look at your fluids because you use it like barely ever. Whereas this is nice. I, I like that. So we've got 32 buckets, which is exactly how much we have there. Perfect. What we're going to do now is run over here to this guy here, this export bus. If I toggle my shaders off, which by the way, I haven't mentioned, um, complimentary reimagined shaders are what I'm using this episode. You can see it's not completely full. We have 3.1 buckets in there as seen in the top left when I crouch. So if we open this up and I drag in lava, check out this. We should see it fill up. Yep, it's at 3.2. It's at 3.3. And you can actually see it physically moving. Look at that. How cool is that? So now we have infinite lava within our system. Um, assuming, of course, this system's running, which it pretty much should be. Next up is the tricky part. We have one spot here to put all of our stuff in. Now, in the perfect world, I put in just like an ore and it puts in all the other ores. I think I know what we need to do though. I think I know. I have a feeling, now I'm not entirely sure. In fact, maybe I should consult the uh, quest book. But I think what we want is a fuzzy upgrade card. I feel like that's what we want. Um, capacity card, loosely speaking, what's this? Fuzzy card. The fuzzy card allows a filtered item to be matched regardless of any NBT metadata. That is what we want. I would like a fuzzy card. So, we're going to try and make one of those. Now, I don't know if this is going to do exactly what I want it to, but I think it'll it'll attempt to, okay? So, fuzzy card. Beautiful. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run over here, and I think it can go in here. Did I read that correctly? Um, it can. <laughs> it goes in the export bus. Um, I want it to... Yeah, I want it to match any. And so my my goal here was that if I grab an ore, um, and as you can see, we've got like raw nickel and we've got raw lead. I'm going to put raw nickel in here and I think it'll put all the other raw ores in there. So we should get lead in the system as well. L let's see if this actually works. So currently system's empty. I place in raw nickel. We should be getting raw nickel in here, which is perfect. I'll put my extra piece in there as well. Looks like it's going to take a little while. We could get some speed upgrades at some point, some acceleration cards. My main thing is, once it places all the nickel in, is it going to place anything else? Remember, we had seven, I believe. So this should be the last one. Anything else, please. No, it doesn't. I was really hoping it would put in uh, all the types of raw ores because I don't know how otherwise to do that. Um, the only thing I'm thinking of is if we put a cell in here that's been partitioned. That's what I'm thinking as well. We can try that. I, I reckon it's worth a try. Um, once again, I'm sure... Uh, you know what? We'll consult the book. Because... Is there like an export bus spot here? Where it'll tell me like, Hey, for export buses, you can do this. Export bus spits items in its whitelist filter. Um, wait, wait, sorry. Um, periodically spits items in its whitelist filter out to whatever external storage the bus is facing. Um, the export bus cannot work without being filtered. Aha. Uh -huh. But then, what's this? A formation plane. The ME formation plane acts similarly to the storage bus, but treats the world itself as its storage medium. In other words, it will place down any block. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Interesting. Memory card. What's this? Um, the simplest is to save various device configurations, such as whitelist filters to be copied over to another device. Okay. Um, yeah. I don't think necessarily we want this. This thing here mentions a nine slot filter. I like, surely you can filter more than nine items. How many ores do we have here? Um, the main ores I'm looking for are like the raw ore pieces. Um, I don't know. I really don't know. I, I, I don't even see them in here. I guess, yeah, these little bits. Um, I guess if we could look in here. So, so what do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, nine. And then we wouldn't be able to do uranium, zinc, or cobalt. I mean, that's not the end of the world, to be honest. We can get away with that. I'll tell you what. I'm going to... I'll grab out a stack of each of these. That seems pretty fair. The nickel, the tin, the silver, the lead, the osmium, and the copper. And the rest of this stuff can stay in there. Now, one thing we will have to be very careful about... Uh, actually, I don't think we will. I was going to say is alloying, but I think we're exporting the stuff faster than we're smelting it. So we won't have to worry about that. What we will need though are some capacity cards. Now, does this mention uh, how many? Uh, it doesn't mention how many, although I imagine we want to put four in. So we'll, we'll go capacity card uh, right here and I'll craft as many as it'll let me, which is going to be two. 
Uh, realistically, we want two more. So we'll go ahead and do that. Bada bing, bada boom. I'll go slap these in. So we'll open this guy up. Chuck in capacity cards. Oh, he only takes two. Okay, nice. Awesome. Um, then I'm going to place one of each of these in here. Uh, no, sorry. I lied. Did that already do it? It already did it. What we want to do, sorry, is uh, change that filter to be... Uh, where are we? G. To be this stuff. So let's try this again. <laughs> let's open this guy up. And this time we'll go boom, 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 boom. Perfect. Um, so we should start getting that stuff. Beautiful. <laughs> awesome. Um, so the rest of the stuff we can put in the system. What we will want eventually is to put a crafting upgrade in there. So there's actually a crafting uh, card you can get. This guy here. Pretty cheap to make. But the problem is we will need the recipes to actually make those things within our system somehow. Um, so that'll probably be what happens in the next episode, most likely. Um, yeah. So in the meantime, any ores we put in here will automatically, automatically be processed and placed into the here. And as you can see, they're pretty much exported instantly. So we don't actually have to worry about um, any alloying at the moment. Um, in the future, arguably, we will. Although, whoa, oh my God. He just... What just happened? Why did this guy just like kick into like super overdrive? Sure. Okay. Is, um, is that not crazy? Okay, so we might have to worry a little bit about alloying. In fact, that alloying will actually like really mess our system up to be completely honest with you. That's why I wasn't going to put in any speed upgrades, but wow. Export the first item until the network is empty, then try the next ones. Yeah, okay. You know what? That's actually better. I think that's what it currently is. So it's going to put all the raw iron in before it goes to the next ones. So we <laughs> we shouldn't have much of an alloying problem. Although I think we're about to see something. Because is rose gold copper and gold or is it um iron and gold? I think it's copper and gold. I think we're good. We will run into issues. I can almost guarantee it. <sighs> but in the grand scheme of things, I don't think we will. I think we're fine. I hope we're fine. <laughs> I'll tell you what, we'll find out at, at, at some point. Worst case, we've got to make a few more smell trees. Um, cool. <laughs> cool. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, in comes the tin. I, I, I kind of want to watch it for a bit to see if we do run into any problems. But I, th I once again, I think we're good. Oh, oh actually, we're going to see an issue in a second. Let's see the copper uh, go through. All right, tin's in. Currently no alloying yet. The copper is going to mix with the tin and the gold, I believe. So we've got rose gold coming in. Listen, as long as everything's in at least ingot form, I'm fine. The problem I was going to have is if we have some things in like nugget form. But to be honest, it doesn't look like that's happening. Like, hey, listen, listen, we get a little bit of rose gold in the system. We get a little bit of rose gold in the system. It's not the end of the world. <laughs> it doesn't, it doesn't bother me too much, I think. Yeah, we've got some bronze. Okay. Yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good. All right, I'm, I'm happy to leave it. I'm happy to leave it. That's a very nice little rainbow we got there though. Okay, okay. I, I think we can wrap this episode up. I'm pretty happy. I, I think we we did it, everything we wanted to do and then some, which I'm, I'm very happy about. So ho hopefully this was a good episode for you guys. Um, our system here, once again, I'm sure it's not perfect. I'd like some suggestions with this, but keep in mind, I am a bit of a rookie here. So, so you know, a little bit at a time. We'll, we'll take these episodes. Each episode, I'll try out a new different thing. I won't try and do like the full, you know, revolution here where we rip everything up and, and start from scratch. We won't be doing that. Um, in terms of the piping, let me know what you think I should do with these fluid pipes. Should I hook them up with the lava export buses and stuff or should I just keep them separate? And, and you know, we could rewire this cabling to go under the ground if we wanted to. Um, the energy cables, I'm going to be doing ender gates in an upcoming episode for wireless energy. So they'll be disappearing at some point. Um, which realistically means we can probably put our entire lava generation somewhere else. Like I could bring the power generation over here or something. Maybe that's what we'll do instead to clean this up. I think that'll work pretty well. We can get rid of all these pipes at that point. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm genuinely very happy about this. Is this guy, he's still not full. <laughs> Whew. Um, but yeah, awesome. So we've got somewhat auto processing. The final part here is actually to craft these pieces into uh, the ores that are needed. But we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Oh, I was going to do a speed upgrade here. Which I am going to do. I am going to do this episode. Why not? Little surprise at the end of the episode for you. There we go. Diamond upgrades. So this is going to take it to 16 per tick using 512 RF per tick. And he's going to be processing 16 items at a time. And as you can see, 
whilst we can sort of, oh, now we can't really keep up with it. It's going to drain our power <laughs> like ridiculously. So, do you know what that means? That means we have a reason to work on power in the next episode. So, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, you enjoyed this episode. I don't know what exactly I'm going to thumbnail for this one. Maybe the, the piping. Maybe we'll come over here and, uh, you know, do a little bit of this. Maybe that. Some auto processing. Yeah, that seems pretty fair. Maybe I'll, uh, hmm. Maybe I'll toggle that off and we'll, we'll get a thumbnail like this so that you can see the liquids in them. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what we do. Anyway, <laughs> thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for the support on the series. Um, we're growing like crazy, which is awesome to see. So, so thank you guys so much. Um, you guys still loving it? I'm still loving it. It, bl it genuinely it blows my mind seeing uh, not just how many views they have, but how many views they have so like recently. You know what I mean? Like, like 1,000 views on a video. I would expect that like after you know episode 200 of MC of, of like um all the mod six. You know, and I look back at episode one, and I'm like, oh yeah, look, people are actually tuning in. <laughs> That's happening on like. The previous episode I uploaded. Like, th that is insane. The numbers are crazy. Thank you guys so much. Um, I, I feel like it... I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I almost feel like I have imposter syndrome, but not quite. Not quite. Because uh, I'm aware of what we're doing here. You know what I mean? Like, we're we're putting in the hours um, at the very least. So, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, you're enjoying it. I'm still enjoying it, which is probably the main part. If I stop enjoying this, these episodes are going to get very painful for everyone involved. Um, and they probably won't happen. So, uh, we'll stick with it. And yeah, hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. If you're watching this video, this video video will probably be the first one that comes out today. Um, whether that's midday or something for you guys, it's like pretty early in the morning for me. This video will likely come out as soon as possible. Then you'll be getting a checking out server spawn video. I've had that one sort of on deck. That'll come out later today. And then possibly again tonight. So like pff, roughly 14 hours from when I've recorded this. So maybe like 12 hours from when this video comes out. I'm not too sure. Um you'll be getting another episode and that, that'll be at like the normal schedule. That's the plan. We'll see what happens. Um, and that should just be old mod seven, just a normal episode. Um, if that goes according to plan, if it doesn't apologies, but regardless, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.